Happening today, a new chapter, 85 years in the making as the grandmother of Juneteenth, Miss Opal Lee, finally reclaims her home in Fort Worth. Our Tiffany Liu joins us live. And Tiffany, this is more than just a new home. Absolutely, Cleo. Today is going to go down in history. And now that the sun is coming up, I just want to show you guys how beautiful this new house looks. She is going to see it today, and there's going to be a big celebration to follow. It's a property she has known for so many decades. And it's hard to believe that just three months ago, we were standing here as they raised the first wall starting construction. And today she will be celebrated and welcomed in. Now, this is the same land Dr. Lee saw her family home burn down when she was a child in 1939. She was 12, only a few nights after moving in, hundreds of white rioters gathered to run her family out of town. So a deeply painful memory for Dr. Lee is certainly turning around. The 97-year-old grandmother of Juneteenth brought this land back from the Trinity Habitat for Humanity for just $10, and rebuilding it was a team effort of several organizations. History maker homes built it at no cost. Dr. Lee worked with their designer, picking her own floors, fixtures, and lightings. And then Texas Capital provided funding for furnishings while JCPenney donated home decor for her kitchen, bedrooms, and bathrooms. This moment today, days before Juneteenth, will be a testament to the continuation of her journey as a civil rights leader. I hope I can keep on walking and talking and telling people that we are all one people. That's what we are, all one people. And of course, we are excited to hear from her again today. That celebration starts at 10 o'clock this morning. We're going to be here to cover that as well as other community leaders, activists and supporters. Let's send it back to you. Cleo. All right.